Yes. Now this is question number 29. Napoleon is a dictator. Comment. Yes. Napoleon is a uh, typical dictator you may say. Well, um, just to recollect or revise, who is a dictator? A dictator is a person who does not care about the people of his nation and does not make any rules for the welfare of his people. And uh, in place of that, he play, uh, he makes rules according to his desires and whims, whatever uh, he likes. It does not uh, matter uh, if, it is, if it is good or bad for the people. Mm, good. Yeah. So, in, in that light, we can say that Napoleon is a dictator par excellence. Okay, he is a typical dictator. He behaves like a, uh, a typical dictator. Like, he is rarely seen in public. Um, he is always surrounded by his uh, bodyguard dogs. Okay, um, like has a retinue that attends him uh, all the time. Uh, Wherever he goes out or whenever he goes out, has his own apartment in the house. You know, he has his own apartment in the house. Like, you know, he has a taster also for his food. Uh, the gun is also fired on his birthday. So all these things, you know, they, they, they are associated with dictators. People who feel very important about them and who want to have their uh, way anyway. Kind of. The, he has airs uh, about him. He has added many titles to his name, including uh, Terror of Mankind. Terror of Mankind. L like like, like hum human beings who? Uh, Frederick and uh, Pilkington, Bimper and others, they were all scared of him, Mr. Jones. They, 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 they cannot uh, like attack or they cannot enter uh, into the periphery of the uh, animal form because of him. So there is a terror of mankind. This title he has assumed himself. A title given to him by himself, you may say, Napoleon. So he is a typical dictator. Yes. Next question. This is question number 30. Why, why, why do uh, why, why do the men blow up the windmill? Why do? Now this is second occurrence. First it was destroyed as a result of a storm during the month of November. Now uh, this, uh, this time it is destroyed by the human beings so a battle takes place the battle is called as as i told you the battle of windmill but why do the men blow up the windmill the men blew up the windmill because they see it as a symbol of the pig's ability to run the farm independently without any human support by destroying the product of the animals considerable labor the men probably think uh, that animals will uh, will give up and Mr. Jones will regain his form. Like, you know, it happens in battles and all. Uh, like important buildings uh, of the uh, enemy country are destroyed, collapsed. The same way the human beings do. They destroy the windmill. Okay. Now this is the next question. This is question number 31. We, we, we have almost reached uh, towards the end. Okay, there's there, there, this uh, three or four left. Yes. What is boxer's motto? Boxer, who is boxer? First tell me. Boxer is a horse. A, a, a horse, a huge horse, yes. Boxer got, you know, severely injured in the battle of windmill. But he does not take rest and cares about his wounds. He, he is in fact working himself to death. Instead of taking care of himself, he, he keeps on working. Although he was severely injured in the battle of Kaushik, in the battle of windmill. He is not um, showing any recovery. And that is why his injuries, they are not, you know, healing up. Uh, because because uh, he practices his own motto. And what is his motto? I'll work harder. I will work harder. And Napoleon is always right. This is another. You know, he says, uh, I will work harder. Napoleon is always right. Napoleon is always right. This is, these are his slogans. Okay, question number, uh, this is next question, question number 32. What happens to boxer? Yes. 
what happens to boxer how do animals uh, uh, how do animals accept it now now this is very pathetic the most pathetic i think in the entire novel because a person you know who does a lot of work who is so diligent and so dedicated and so 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 you have a respect for that person but even if uh, even such a person doesn't get respect and in return is uh, um like uh, is treated in, a, in an unkind way then you feel pity okay and you, you feel disappointed and also uh, indignant i must say indignant yeah so the, the question is uh, what happens to boxer uh, at the end and how do the animals uh, react to it boxer finally injury uh, finally injures himself uh, while dragging a very huge stone for the windmill because you know uh, in the battle of windmill the windmill was destroyed and uh, napoleon gives orders that the windmill has to be rebuilt again it has to be rebuilt it has to be built up again so uh, he was dragging a, a very huge stone a very big stone it was very cumbersome for the windmill up the hill and is, uh, is taken away to the neck up why because he injures himself and he was not showing any recovery, uh, any, any recovery also so what, what what is done he is sold to a necker who is a necker necker yes you know necker you may say a butcher hmm? he is sold to a butcher however schooler tells animals that boxer died in the hospital he didn't die in the hospital but he was sold because he, he had become useless so the, 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 this is something very pathetic the animals want to believe what they are told but only benjamin only benjamin understood what really happened and who is benjamin the donkey okay so he understood what really happened he had tried to stop them from taking boxer but was unable to do so you know he runs after the van the necker's van and he wanted to stop that he wanted to like uh, Uh, tell other animals that the um, horse the box is being taken away to the necker instead of to the hospital and the, the 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 money the pigs get for the dead boxer is spent on whiskey just see the irony you know they sell it to the necker and in return what do they get they get whiskey is it not very ironical and pathetic it is question number 33 Yes, what kind of person does Benjamin remind you of? What is your opinion of such people? What makes people behave this way, Benjamin? So you 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 may write a small character sketch of Benjamin. I told you that Benjamin is a cynic, but Benjamin, you know, like sympathizes uh, with boxer when he is taken away to the necker instead of. to the hospital so this is benjamin you know, this episode is important there so what kind of person benjamin is you may say that he is an interesting character okay he is no doubt uh, absolutely different from others cynical um, knowing but determined not to become involved you know he is aware of familiar with things he is aware of, yet you know he he he, he doesn't uh discuss it with others or does it doesn't voice his voice out he, he alone knows what the pigs are doing perhaps if he had been prompt and aggressive he might have been able to save boxer he he is like uh, many people who know something is wrong yet avoid it since it does not involve them and it is too late so you understand what kind of person benjamin is and what kind of people does he uh, represent he represents uh, yes can can you see a line on benjamin what kind of people does benjamin represent i i said that benjamin you know does not raise his voice all, although he sees that 
uh, injustice is being done. He sees the injustice. He knows the uh, malefactors. He knows the wrongdoers. Yet, keep mum. Why? Because uh, that doesn't involve them. Like in the story, uh, like he's no, he thinks that uh, if something is done to sheep or to hens or to cows, then he is not involved. So he, he, he keeps himself away from them. Although he is hurt, but he does not share his uh, inner experiences or feelings or emotions or sentiments with others. He does it with only two animals, Clover and uh, Boxer. Yet he doesn't speak his mind out. He doesn't protest against Napoleon, Squealer or other uh, animals. Okay. So if I ask you what kind of person does he represent, can you tell me in one line? Who does not poke his nose in uh, others' business. Mm. If uh, he's not involved in it, he won't uh, be a part of that thing. Uh, he won't fight for anybody or he won't fight against anybody if uh, he does not have any problem with that person personally. Mm -hmm. So exactly. you have such kind of people around you, is yeah. it not? They, they, they are. There are people like him all over. All over, yeah. Um, but you know, as far as boxer is concerned, he he he, he feels hurt when boxer is taken out because boxer was a, a good friend of uh, Benjamin. That's why, and boxer was a, a really good animal, a very hardworking one. That's why you know he was touched, he was moved. Otherwise, things do not move him. He, he, he is called a cynic. Hmm? Like, like things do not easily affect him. He, 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 he remains unaffected, unmoved, untouched. Benjamin. Yeah, this is question number 34. How do animals now feel about their social order? They, 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 their form. The animals... Um, uh, even the new ones, I mean, the young ones who were not at the time when the rebellion took place are proud to be part of the only farm in England run solely, run solely by animals. Okay. Miss, they feel very proud. They feel very glorified that they, they, they inhabit in a form which is totally run by animals. So they still believe there will be a time when man will be defeated and only animals will tread the English soil. Uh, they, they, they are very pleased that at least on this farm, no beings, no human beings walk upon two legs. They, they, they are animals who all walk upon four legs and they are birds who have wings to fly. But there aren't, there aren't men there who walk on two legs. Why? Because two legs are bad and four legs are good. Okay? So this is interesting. Yeah. And, uh, this is this one is second last. I must uh, think. This is second. Yeah. This is what drastic actions do the pigs take to shatter the animal's complacency. What is complacency? Complacency is uh, satisfaction. Okay? Contentment. Like, you know, uh, complacent, to be com complacent, self-complacent, self-satisfied. So complacency, you know, satisfaction. So what drastic actions do the pigs take to shatter the animal's complacency? The pigs begin to walk upright on two legs. Let me know whether you understood the question or not. First, let me know what does the question mean? Because this is very important. Sometimes if you do not understand the question, you won't be able to answer it. You can write the answer well only when you understand the question. What drastic action do the pigs take to shatter the animal's complacency? Yes? Come on. Means what were the actions taken by the pigs who were the in charges of the animal farm? Hmm. To shatter the feeling of contentment of other animals. Hmm. Yeah, good. 
लाइक यू नो वॉट डिड दे डू द पिग्स मीन टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द नॉवल द पिग्स बिगैन टू वॉक अप राइट ऑन टू लेग्स ओके मीन्स दे बिगिन टू वॉक यू मे से ऑन टू लेग्स एज जस्ट एज मेन टू सो दिस वॉज यू नो लाइक दिस वॉज वेरी सरप्राइजिंग फॉर अदर एनिमल्स टू नोट नेपोलियन कैरीज अ विप द वे ह्यूमन बींग्स टू and the pigs begin to wear mr jones clothes a telephone is installed and uh, they subscribe to newspapers also why because uh, pigs can read and write so they have subscribed to newspapers as the animals watch the pigs begin to resemble the humans you know they were all taken aback they were all surprised because it was decided in the beginning that they wouldn't do any such thing which human beings do they would not imitate the manners of men yet they have started imitating the manners of men towards the end of the play so this is all very shocking for the smaller animals on the animal form they they there they, they are no longer any differences between the animals and the pigs of the animal form the animals can finally see their true situation i mean the small animals animals like cows or, or like sheep and other animals the small ones like who were being ruled so like you know they could see that their true situation but it is too late to do anything about it the sheep have been uh, taught a new motto now what is it four legs good two legs better just think of earlier you know like if you see here uh, four legs good whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy whatever goes upon four legs and has wings is a friend i hope you remember the slogan given by snowball snowball had replaced these seven commandments to one slogan for the sheep because she couldn't remember and what was that four legs good two legs bad okay four legs good two legs bad now they they have changed it four legs good two legs better why why have two legs become better because pigs have now started to come uh, mimic Big, human beings yeah very good because pigs have started walking on their hind legs Pig, pigs have started imitating the manners of human beings that is why two legs are even better just see the irony you know this is uh, heart rending you may say heart rending it's very uh, it, it it is very hurting it's annoying it's irritating but it is also uh, like you feel indignant when you see such a change in your own people what was the commandment the last commandment all animals are equal are they equal anymore they are not who is ruling the animal form the pigs the pigs and earlier it was ruled by mr jones and they are working even harder the small animals the ruled ones are working even harder so th their situation has become worse okay this is the last question i think these questions are sufficient you know if you prepare these 36 uh, short and straight questions you are going to get them in your exam we have di discussed so many questions this one is the last one at the end and this is important also the last one is very important at the end all the seven commandments are erased and a new commandment comes into existence which however existed since the beginning since the beginning these seven commandments they are removed and in place of and these seven commandments a new commandment has taken place has emerged but the irony is that that commandment existed uh, right from the beginning okay yes the new commandments the new commandment i must say the, the, these are all removed the new commandment that is that has come into surface uh, is or that has emerged uh, all animals are equal but some animals are more equal than others okay 
this is something very important you know a very uh, this is this is this is an off quoted line this is the gist of animal form this is the gist of animal form all animals are equal but some animals are more equal than animal than other animals i i can't help writing it you know i i need to write it somewhere okay here i'm writing it and you take it down and uh, you, you, you uh, i am in fact uh, suggesting you to write a descriptive answer on this okay prepare an essay type all animals are equal but some animals are more equal okay all animals are equal but some animals are more equal now this this now this is the slogan you may say which has replaced all these seven and this is very ironical what are the animals who are more equal pigs pigs are more equal means they are, they are, they are the rural rural rulers okay they they are ruling yeah so the new commandment uh, now you know what is it come on tell me all animals are equal but some animals are more equal than others this commandment has been true true since the beginning uh, when napoleon drank the milk hmm remember napoleon drank the milk when the pigs had already taught themselves to read and write when the pigs and mainly uh, supervised while other other animals worked uh, now now the pigs have openly stated what has always been true all animals are equal but some animals are more equal than others we, 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 like like if you if you were careful if you were taking uh, a note of it you must have seen like they were they, 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 they were drinking all the milk given by cows they, they were consuming all the wind for apples and what was the pretext given by them that since they are doing the brain work they need those things right and they started sleeping on bed they started uh, drinking alcohol they started imitating the behavior of men human beings so like you know this this difference was all there right from the beginning although uh, towards the end they clearly mention it they they wanted that they, they should there shouldn't be any confusion about it all animals are equal no doubt but some are more equal take a note of it this is what napoleon sculer and other animals who were the ruling ones wanted the uh, ruled ones to note it down hope uh, you understood this okay thank you